Oh, well, this is federal spending by Eric and this man over here, no, named Nolan. And then, so, uh, what this is going to be covering is mandatory and discretionary spending. So, man. I'm sorry. Why are you Why Okay, so, this is mandatory and discretionary spending. So, mandatory spending is money that Congress has mandated or required by existing laws to spend on certain programs, like, uh, Highway or interstate state construction, they're required to work on those and keep them maintained with the federal taxes because, yeah, it's a lot. Um, or to use for interest payments on the national debt, like, because we have a lot of national debt, so we have to try to s s produce it somehow. And then discretionary spending is spending about which lawmakers are free to make choices. It's like, uh, in Sydney, how they're uh, spending money on these, on the state like highway building over here, they they chose to do that. It wasn't required by law. Okay, so entitlement programs, uh, social security. So it makes up a huge portion of federal spending. So uh, about 50 million Americans receive monthly benefits. So once you are retired, you. Uh, start to receive money from Social Security after you have, it depends, how much money you make from Social Security depends on how much money you made through your life, and a percent of that will be put into the Social Security fund, and then you will be able to use that app later, and then the later that you start, the more you will earn per month from it. And then Medicare, uh, oh yeah, with Social Security, if you, uh, apply for it before 65 you don't get uh, the full amount that you put into it so and then if you do after 65 you do uh, and then Medicare it serves about 42 million people most over 65 years old funded by taxes uh, with help from people's paychecks and you to pay for hospital care and cost physicians so once you become like over 65 uh, you generally have to go to the hospital more often and get medication so Medicare helps with that and then that also um, depends on how much you made um, throughout your life uh, it depends on how much it will cover and then there are different plans you can get actually so yeah it's, it's, it's weird I don't know um, and then so Medicaid it benefits low-income families and some people with disabilities um, and elderly people in nursing homes, a uh, source of funds, of medical sources for America's poorest people. So, yeah, that pretty much described it. And then other mandatory spending programs. Uh, most mandatory spending programs benefit people whose incomes fall below a certain level. So it's like welfare checks, pretty much. Um, and then programs include food stamps and child nutrition because of the Child Protection Act or something. Um, or insurance for federal workers, like, geez, like uh, teachers, they get uh, hospital or not health benefits, you know, whatever. Uh, discretionary, discretionary spend, spending. I can't say. This. Okay, defense spending. Uh, it's dropped since the Cold War. It makes up most of the U.S.'s spending uh, from taxes, and then it goes to paying salaries of soldiers. Cost of researching new weapons, which is quite a bit, and the cost of producing weapons, ammo and military vehicles, which is also quite a bit, so, yeah. And then, uh, it also includes education and training, scientific research, which is basically this and other stuff. Uh, student loans, law enforcement, environmental cleanup, and disaster aid, because, yeah. This graph uh, tells what the U.S. spend most of their money on in 2017. And you can see that it goes defense, education, transportation, and veteran benefits, and income security. Defense is the biggest thing. Okay. And then federal aid to state and local government. So $404 billion last year was divided among the states, which is an average of $1,400 per person. Uh, states rely on federal aid for the most part because... They only have there are, they only have a few state taxes, so they'll make that much money from that. 
goes to education, housing, highway construction, mass transit, and dozen, dozens of other programs. So like just uh, highway maintenance. Um, and then housing is like uh, Sydney is getting a new housing for special needs people. And that's what this is for the most part. And then uh, mass transit like um, trains and subway systems and that stuff. Okay. So. This is just a funny joke. It was in your book, but I put it in here. Yes. It doesn't make any sense. This is all the vocab. There's only three vocab words in this whole section. All right. Mandatory spending. Spending that Congress is required by existing law to do. Uh, this picture. This creditor. Discretionary. Discretionary spending. Spending about which Congress is free to make choices. Entitlement. Uh, social welfare welfare program that people are entitled to benefit from from if they meet certain eligibility requirements. 